Hello there, so I've just taken time out from a very busy clinic to bring you some of your favourite and possibly unseen optical triggers that we're going to go through in a little bit of detail about how it works. So first up, say hello to a set of five brightly coloured varying optical centres trial frames starting at the top here we have the 66 millimetre setting we drop down in two millimetre increments depending on your pupillary distance we can have your optical centre lined up with the center of the frames there so for example i'm going to measure your pupillary distance with the ruler here just gently against the forehead looking into my left and into the right i shall observe the scale and see that we have a 62 millimeter pupillary distance 62 would result in you being fitted with the fabulous yellow trial frame there I would place them on yourself like so and we have the little dials here for turning the lens holder for when we're checking your astigmatic axis there and we also have some slots at the back of the trial frame there which is where I like to place the spherical lenses for your distance prescription so that's the lovely set of five colourful trial frames Okay, now what if your patient has a little bit of dry eye syndrome? They might be experiencing some soreness, grittiness, redness, general ocular discomfort. You may want to recommend or instill a drop of lubricants into the eye at their clinic appointment just to see if it provides them with some relief. So this is your Minims Artificial Tears. As you can see, the active ingredients are sodium chloride and hyotellos. It's a box of 20 Minims for your patient to try. Okay, and within the box, you shall find 20 of these. These are your Minims with the little drop there inside the protective protective plastic instiller okay and just to be sure you have your expiry date here and your batch number very important that you check those and what the product is before you place anything inside your patient's eye. Now sticking the artificial tears theme for your dry eyes, we have a little pump action bottle here of visual XL five milliliter quantity of artificial tears. First we would remove the protective cap A little nib there, a little nib for applying the drops. And what do we do? Well, we first of all have to tell the patient that they do not sting and they may provide some relief to the symptoms of your dry eyes. We hold the bottle like so. The patient shall look up, looking up. Basically, we just squeeze a drop onto the surface of the conjunctiva. The 
animation will then blink a few times. And hopefully that will help. Okay, so moving on. I'm sure you've seen these in the clinic and had them used on you. Simple, basic, but very effective. Ocular occluders. So I recently acquired this colourful green one. So I look straight ahead. Here comes the green blocker for blocking one of your eyes. Good. Okay, keep looking ahead. You can occlude the other one. Lovely. I'm just looking for an eye turn there. The black one with this beautiful knurled grip here for secure handling and comfort. Just looking straight. Good, I essentially cover one eye. And then we can do a swinging cover test or alternating cover test. Checking for euphoria. Like so. So those are the two occluders. Lovely. You may be looking at this piece of equipment and wondering how it is related to the ocular world. Well, the answer is it is not, but it's an excellent way for me to store my fixation sticks, my ocular fixation sticks. A lovely sound in the clinic. And housed inside for protection from the everyday um, from the everyday assault that your fixation sticks may come under. They may be colliding with one another. They might be getting some ink on their surface. This is the perfect way to house them, to keep them pristine. So one must take good care of their fixation sticks. Obviously, the colours may fade if in direct sunlight as well. So I'm protecting them from the elements as well. There are my selection of fixation sticks there. Okay, and let's reverse that. Right, you can see a selection of numerals and further pictures for checking things like convergence, ocular motility, and fixation points there for your cover test, for your near cover test. Also we can ask the patient to focus on a particular letter if their attention is good. And we also have a little bit of written print there. Okay, so those are my fixation sticks. Adequately protected. In their plastic holder. safe and secure. You know, sticking with fixation and ocular test along those lines, we have the relatively new piece of equipment here. This is known as the RAF rule. This can rest like so. The patient will Observe the target just here. The target may be a selection of letters that get increasingly smaller or progressively smaller. A little dot and a line for checking convergence. And we have some more print there. So you can ask your patient to focus specifically on a certain size of print. 
further decks there, all of similar font size. We have the scale here, so we have a centimeter scale. So when we measure the convergence. Keep looking at the spot and tell me if the line goes into double, if you see two lines please. Okay, let's just say that you had double vision there. Have a look at the scale. We can say that your double vision is around 15 centimetres there. Okay. We also have the diopter scale for when we're checking your amplitude of accommodation, your focusing power. When we're checking your focusing power in diopters, we have a part here that tells us what is normal or reduced. Not quite right. So that is the RF rule there. Quite long, but we can streamline it for adequate storage. Okay, what do we have next from the clinic? You have most certainly had your pupils checked when you've been to see your optometrist or ophthalmologist. We have this pentage, so as you're looking straight into the distance at the wall, or checking your pupils, something that you've seen many times on the channel here. Follow the light, keeping your head still. Report any double vision of the light. This is your ocular motility test. ahead again just another quick look at the pupils good okay and then we can do the swinging flashlight test that is the pen torch there a lovely okay, next up a very small intricate but highly useful visual aid for those who may have reduced near vision, such as those with cataract or macular degeneration. We have the miniature. Reading aid, providing some magnification for your patient. So, for example, you can find a reading chart for your patient. If they're struggling, even in adequate lighting, to read some of the smaller print, we may want to ask the patient to hold the chart and the magnifier. Just practice. Adjusting the distance of the magnifier, and maybe bring the near print a little bit closer, and then we can ask them to find the optimum place where the print is most clearest and comfortable. There we go. So we can increase the magnification there. So that is the mini magnifier. More light, easy to store for your patient, and well protected there in the little sheath casing. In the little sheath casing. What next do we have from the clinic? Another new acquisition.
cloth lock suggests that we may have some ocular lenses. And here we have a pair of magnified and illuminated viewing devices which we could use on the patient themselves when we're looking at the ocular at Nexa looking at the external ocular areas just look up for me please look down to the left to the right the extra illumination allows some of the structures to stand out for me particularly the, the vessels on the conjunctiva and the sclera this can be used in conjunction with the slit lamp or we could use these with the added magnification for spectacle repair have a little screw there we'll place the screw inside screwdriver with the light and the magnification especially if you are a little bit press biopic we can conduct spectacle repairs with these wonderful frames the on and off switch here you see you have the silicon bridge there for added comfort they feel lovely on the bridge of the nose there the lenses can be easily cleaned with a microfiber cloth and you have a little portal here where you would remove the plastic part there to charge the illuminating system so far the battery has lasted very well they haven't needed any charging in their clinic mm. as of yet okay we have another sophisticated ocular device here let's cast your eyes and the Reese Fairbanks facial ruler here this is for taking specific facial measurements taking into account all the various dimensions and configurations of your face a little scale here for the bridge of the nose start there and across till we find a snook fit and such measurements will help us if we are fitting a bespark pair of spectacles Lovely. Let's get this this way. I'm going to take a measurement on the bridge of the nose here. Lovely. Okay, I'm to do it this side now, please. Super. I'm just going to check the bridge projection here okay, just resting this just there bringing it forward till we have slight contact or just missing the eyelashes excellent and this is the frontal angle here Keep very still please on the nose good and from this side this gently on the bridge of the nose we'll move the pointer and we can check various measurements such as the angle there using this sophisticated piece of ocular equipment there okay, we also have the ability to check your pupillary distance there this eye look into this eye that one, lovely, good, and let's take the angle 
measurement here. We just have slight contact with the nose. Good. 20 degrees from this side. 20 degrees there. Lovely. So we can jot those measurements down for your bespoke spectacles, madam. And finally, it's been a while since you've seen these. Maybe you've not seen them at all. But hopefully you're going to be impressed with what's inside this case here. Inside. As you may have guessed, Mr. and Mrs. Prison Bar. Your horizontal prison bar here. And we have your vertical. Okay. Okay, so we'd use the prison bars. When checking the ocular motor status, if you have a binocular vision problem, we might be able to increase the comfort as you wear your spectacles, and we may be able to eliminate horizontal, vertical, or diagonal diplopia, which is the medical term for double vision, by using a specific prism which we can measure in practice. Okay. And we can use the base up, base down, base out. If you have an ESO deviation. Or we can use base in. If you have an EXO deviation, exophoric exotropia deviation but those are the prison bars there and that my friends is all the ocular equipment for today let's just say goodbye to the ocular equipment I'm sure you will see them later on in some real person examinations or some uh, ocular role players thank you for watching and i'll see you next time